all righty youtube back with another one here and this is just an update on the 66 impala the uh willwood upgrade uh braking system this car was all four drums and as you can see here went qa ones for the suspension got coilovers on the front and uh for the back here we also have disc brakes now when i bought this car it did come with an e-braking system but uh went and got some advice from my local mechanic and he told me uh living here in florida e-braking systems are not really a big deal i guess because we don't have hills where we're parking cars where they're kind of at an angle uh but uh because i bought the car this way i i said i would actually uh you know reinstall the brake e-braking system kind of just run new lines that's how it came and you know that's how i want to keep it i do plan to make other changes to the car but uh, as a backup, I told myself, you know, this would be a good deal, you know, just to keep the e-brakes. And as you can see here, I got it ran. And what I did, it's just pretty much a K, but it runs through the frame. And as we go under the car, the end of that uh, body uh, wire here, it runs through and this is where it comes out. And then it marries with this bracket here that has this line that runs all the way across to where inside of the car there's another cable that comes out and this is where you make your connection here and it's like a, a l-shaped a screw where everything kind of just ties and it goes around to the other end there it's a little on the tight side and the good thing about this that it is adjustable so i'm going to readjust that a little uh, but yeah, this is it, the e-braking system. And uh, another thing to look out for with the Willwood, because your your upgrade to disc brakes here, the drum brakes actually had the e-brake cable on the bottom side here, which uh, did not need as much cable line. But because now the brakes are repositioned to the back, I had to get a customized e-braking line and uh because the original one i ordered it was not long enough it was off by four inches so i had to uh just do some research and i called a company i wish i knew their name i would give them props they really helped me out here but if i do find out i'll update but uh, they said for my type of car, they have a line that's off of Chevelle. I'm not sure what year, but I think it's 65 to 70 Chevelle that just fit perfect for the 66 Impala. And that's all I needed. And everything just ran through properly. And yeah, this is it. The e-braking system for the 1966 Chevy Impala finally is installed. I'm going to do a little bit more of adjustments here, but uh, everything is there. Okay, YouTube. Thank you.